Change has come to Georgia. Change is coming to America. And retirement is coming for Senator David Perdue. John Ossoff speaking today to his supporters as he sits within runoff range now in one of Georgia's U.S. Senate races. His opponent, Republican Senator David Perdue, is ahead in vote totals, but isn't at the 50% plus one threshold needed to avoid that runoff. Our Joe Hinkie spoke with both Ossoff and Senator Perdue's campaign, and he explains how the 50% plus one majority rule came into play here in Georgia. Hey, y'all. Backed by 100 or so supporters in Atlanta's Grant Park this morning, a confident John Ossoff Thank discussed what appears to be an inevitable runoff. No Georgia Democrats ever received this number of votes before in any election in this state. All of the momentum is on our side. Senator David Perdue finds himself currently on the path to a runoff because as votes are still being counted, he does not have 50% plus one vote. Ossoff and Libertarian candidate Shane Hazel in third place combined for the majority of the votes. Sir, in Georgia's other Senate race, a runoff between Republican Senator Kelly Leffler and Democrat Reverend Raphael Warnock is already guaranteed. Nationally, only 10 states use runoffs in primaries. In Georgia, you need 50% plus one vote or the top two candidates head to a runoff. Other states have lower thresholds to avoid a runoff. And in general elections, only Georgia and Louisiana use runoffs to decide a winner. All other states seat the candidate with the most votes. The nonprofit Ballotpedia traced primary runoffs back to the 20th century South and the Democratic Party uniting, quote, factions that had split within the party in order to head into the general election united against the Republican Party by avoiding a candidate winning with only a small plurality of the vote. The National Conference of State Legislatures says the intent of runoffs was to encourage candidates to broaden their appeal to a wider range of voters. Traditionally in Georgia, turnout drops from the general election to a runoff leading to Republican wins, but Ossoff says we are now in a different Georgia. Georgia has become younger and more diverse every day of the last decade, and the effort that has gone in to registering voters, empowering voters, is unprecedented, unmatched anywhere in the country. And while Senator David Perdue's campaign has not made him available for interviews this week in a statement, they said he received more votes so far in the general election, and if needed, they'll do the same in a runoff. We have that full statement and John Ossoff's full press conference from this morning right now on 11alive.com.